bravery is not man's monopoly. Gandhi, January 5th, 1947. I think what Gandhi is attacking here is the entire institution, the entire idea of superiority. That there's a differentiation, a deep differentiation in nature between man and woman. As our teacher liked to say, they are meant to complement each other. And this is the true relationship of all difference in the universe is that things fulfill their particular niche. Because there's a very deep concept that if you're not brave, you're not real. And he is saying that, you know, men feel that because they go into battle, they get to be really the essential element in society. And for Gandhi, this is far from true. And it reminds me of a line from a Greek poet that I like, Euripides, the Greek tragedian poet, late 5th century Athens, who he has a play based on the character of Medea, a, uh, a woman from Asia Minor, who says at one point in the play that's named after her, the Medea, I would rather go into battle three times than bear one child. So when it comes to putting up with pain, women are superior to men, if anything. We let's honor difference, but feel absolutely no sense of superiority. There's a famous story that took place in 1992 in a terrific outburst of violence between uh, Hindus and Muslims in northwestern India. And this one particular village, the Muslims ran for shelter in the home of Hindus. Now, the Hindu men were all out in the field. This agricultural world we're talking about. The women were the only ones home. They would come to the door and block the mob from entering. And the scene that I'm about to describe really happened several times over and over again in a number of different villages. The men would storm up to the hut and say, we think you're hiding a Muslim in there. And instead of saying, oh, no, me would never do such a thing, the women would say, yes, I am. And they would say, uh, well, we want him out of there. And then the woman said, first kill me, and then you may enter. And so then, of course, the mob was thwarted. Faced with courage, a group of irate people who are really acting as a mob, really bent on violence, often are thwarted. And I think this represents the kind of courage that is the core of nonviolence. And therefore, really, for Gandhi, and, and I believe him, it's the core of being human. It's the core of being who we are. <laughs> 